Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is server edition of our LZH Project, Linux Zero to Hero. And in our today's discussion, we are going to discuss about Nginx, Varnish, MariaDB and PHP in a very basic manner. They all add up together to make LEMP, uh, Linux, which stands for Linux, Nginx, MariaDB and PHP. So let's talk about uh, them one by one. Uh, so what's Nginx? Nginx, like spelled as N-G-I-N-X, but it's pronounced as Nginx, is a very fast web server and it's taking all over the world. And it's really fast and once configured with Varnish, it can outperform any web server. And so what's Varnish? So Varnish, uh, Varnish uh, it's a reverse caching system an HTTP accelerator and it works as an added layer to Nginx and when uh, someone tries to access your web server it first come across uh, Varnish and Varnish serves the pages out of its cache and making web access really fast okay and what about MariaDB? MariaDB is used instead of MySQL now and it has the same command set PHP is PHP. It's, uh, you know, the scripting programming language. So, and that's what I wanted to explain. So let's start. Uh, first, we need to make sure. Yeah, we are going to first install Nginx. And then we are going to move ahead. So first, just make sure you don't have Apache installed. Uh, if you have it, you have to stop the service. Well, they can work together. Uh, but we need to change the port but anyway we are just uh, focusing uh, in this lecture for Nginx so we don't need Apache so let me check if I have Apache or not uh, an RPM-QA HTTPD will reveal nothing so that's good we don't have Apache okay so do we have Nginx installed uh, Nginx no, we don't have Nginx. So how we are going to install it? First, we need to install the repository for Nginx. And OK. But first, we need to make sure that SC Linux is set to disable. So set and force 0 will disable SC Linux. But we need to make sure. I just want to go to etc sc linux and config okay sc linux is disabled that's good let me clear the screen and now i'm going to check if i have internet connectivity in google.com okay i have it clear the screen now i'm going to install nginx but first uh, we need to install repository uh, hyphen why install epil dash release okay and now we will wait okay so i already have this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to yum hyphen y install nginx press enter okay now it's installing nginx okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just update yum hyphen y update okay so my all of my packages are updated so I don't need anything but you might you guys might need it anyway so let's start nginx if it started without any error we will have a working web server right away system ctl restart Nginx. Okay, it started in system CTL status. Nginx will reveal that it's active and working. Let's make our firewall aware of it so it doesn't block port 80 or 8080. So it's already enabled. Okay, 8080 already enable and 443 in case we will use SSL 
So that's good. So let's go to my uh, client machine where I will just try to access this server. Okay, for, but first we need to make sure what's the IP address of this machine. Show IP ADDR. Oh, I always type Cisco commands. IP ADDR show. And it reveals that it's 192.168.1.3. And guys, one more thing that uh, after these videos, uh, I will make uh, videos for Cisco also. So I hope you guys will enjoy and uh, for network security as well. So let's go to our client machine. Okay, guys, here is my client. I'm using Slackware for this because my CentOS 5 was giving me wild rides with my mouse. So, okay, so we have internet connectivity in our client machine, and now I'm just going to type HTTP 192.168.1.3. Press enter and there we have it. Our Nginx is working. Okay, so now we will make some tweaks. Let's go back to our server, uh, to our Nginx server. Okay, guys, we are back to our server. And two things I would like to mention. Um, so the default directory for configuration directory for Nginx, when we install it from Yum, is in etc. Nginx. So this is the default directory for Nginx and ls will reveal the files. Okay, so we can find nginx.conf over here uh, and ls of ltr nginx.conf will reveal that it's uh, the user and the group it belongs to is root root. Uh, we can change it to Nginx but we don't want to do it right now. Okay, so this is the main file and sometimes it's basically in conf.d file over here it's uh, it has the name of default uh, .conf so but we still have nginx.com so we don't need that conf uh, like default.conf anyway but please do remember that these directories have these uh, configuration files as well okay so this HTML directory is not in var ww slash HTML as in case of Apache. It's in slash USR slash share nginx and HTML. Over here we have this index.html and we can change it to whatever we want. So let's create an index.html. Let me just remove this. and index.html let's create html html okay body with heading one this is the fast engine x server okay and let's close the body okay let's go to our client machine okay so and now let's press enter and there we have it this is a fast nginx server so that's how you can just make changes to your index HTML. Let's go back to the server. Okay, we are back to our server, and you know, guys, it's it's really simple. Like let, now, let me show you this uh, configuration file. etc nginx and less of nginx.conf. At the moment, we are not going to change anything, so that's why. Okay, so here is this uh, main configuration file of nginx and you can see it starts over here from here this server uh, derivative sorry directive and over here we will put all the information in our future and like videos 
and this is a very simple um, configuration file for nginx and that's it uh, see you in next video thank you for watching please do subscribe